Hey everyone, in this video, we'll fix a common Windows update error on Windows 10 and 11. So just follow these simple and effective steps in sequence for best result. Let's get started. First, we'll clear out the software distribution folder to get rid of the junk files from previous updates. Open File Explorer, and let's go to this PC, then your C drive, then Windows, and then find the software distribution folder and double click on it. Here, we need to select all the files and delete them because they are left over from previous updates and sometimes they cause issues. So select all files by pressing the control key and A key on your keyboard and then press shift plus delete key to permanently delete everything. Once done, close the file explorer and let's continue with the next step. Let's use the Windows Update Troubleshooter to find and fix any update issues. From the Windows search, type Troubleshoot Settings and click on the Troubleshoot Settings from the result. Click on Other Troubleshooters and find Windows Update and click on the Run button. And just follow the instructions. And once it's done, you need to restart your computer to apply the changes. And now let's run the system file checker to scan for and repair any corrupted system files. From the Windows search, type CMD, right click on the command prompt and select run as an administrator. Here, let's type SFC space forward slash scan now and press enter and just wait for the scan to complete, which will take some time to finish. Once done, it may say Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Close the command prompt window and let's restart your computer to apply the changes. Finally, we'll make sure the Windows Update service is running properly. Right click on the Windows logo and select run and type services.msc and press enter. Scroll down to find Windows Update Service. Once you find it, right click on it and select properties. Ensure the startup type is set to automatic and the service is running. If it's not running, just click on the start button. Also, you may want to look for the background intelligent transfer service and make sure it is set to automatic and the service is running as well. And now let's check to see if the problem has been resolved. Let's go to the Windows Update settings and try to update your Windows. Hopefully it has fixed your issue. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.